Okay, you guys. Today we are doing the four, the fourth activity in the Vortex Labs. We've already got 35 milliliters of hot water, water. in test tube A. Now you need a level scoop of ascorbic acid. Okay. And then put that in the tube, cap it. And shake it. Okay, so now for test tube B, we have 30 milliliters of hot water in there, and it says put um, use the type clean pipette to measure 2.5 milliliters <coughs> of copper sulfate solution. 2.5 milliliters. Measure carefully. Do it on the mess mat, please. I'm probably sure that pretty sure the 2.5 is gonna be on the stem here. I'm gonna do it over here. And then squirt that into your test tube. Yep, so just get it there and hold it there. Hold it with the pressure of your hand. Does that look about right? No, it looks like 2.0. Let me see if I I'll I'll just show you and then I'll let you do it, okay? So yeah, you pull it up, do the 2.5 line. Is it 2.5 or is that 1.5? Uh, the 2.5 is up here. Okay, so it looks like that much. And then you want to bring it over and squirt it in? Okay. And then it says put the cap on that one. Okay, so now in test tube C, we have 35 milliliters of warm water and we want two small scoops of sodium chloride and add those to test tube C. Level them off. Okay. Now put the cap on that and shake it. Yep, the last tube, it says for D, it says pour all of the methylene blue into test tube D. Okay, now it says with the mixing machine off, pour the test tubes into the beaker in this order. A. Okay. Then B. Is it like the alphabet? It's just A, B, C. It says not D. D. Then into the beaker, honey. Oh, yeah. Did that change color? It looked like it was blue yeah. before. Okay, yeah. now C. Well, it's, it's just like, it looked like normal water. Now it's kind of yellowish. Okay. Let's see. Okay. And it says it should have just over 100 milliliters in, the, in there now. Does that seem right? Yeah, just over a hundred. Okay. Now it says use your clean pipette. So this one I think is the clean one. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's the clean one. And it's gonna take a half milliliter. So find a half on there. Find a half on there first. It's not gonna be very far up. It's like, it's the first one here. Okay. And then it says squirt it into the beaker.
Okay, you're losing some there. So let you want me to see if I can help you with this part, or you I got it? it? Okay. Tell me where you get told. When you get it there and hold it up there at the half, and then quick move it over and put it in the beaker. Ugh. I'm very bad. You just gotta squeeze it and hold it. Like you're kind of like doing a sit up or something. You squeeze it and hold it and then you carry it over really quick and then squeeze it out. Okay, okay, yeah, I can. Struggling a little? Okay, you hold the, you hold the test tube and I'll hold this. Okay, where's the half at? Okay, right there at that first line. Mm -hmm. Is that the half right there? Uh, yeah. I gotta bring it closer to read it. Yep, that is the first line, okay. There we go, that's how you do it. You just hold it like that, and then you carry it over like that. Whoa. Now it says turn the uh, mixer on for like five seconds, so it mixes. For five seconds? Okay. Now it says wait a minute and your solution should turn clear. So we'll turn this off while we wait our minute. Okay, so a minute has passed and it's not quite clear, but it's more clear than it was. Now it says turn the mixing machine on and turn up the speed. To what, Max? Well, just turn up the speed to whatever you want and then observe what happens. And it says, uh, okay, Google, set the timer for one minute. Whoa. One minute, and that's starting now. So what do you see one happening? Minute. It's turning, it's turning back to like a lot bluer. Yeah, it's bluer. And so let's see, after about, let's say 10 or 12 seconds, it was, it was blue, aqua blue, maybe like your shirt. I wonder if it's going to get even, Star, you're talking in this video. You're talking. She's like, what, what am I doing? Okay, we will turn off the timer. Okay, to turn off the stir. Okay, so let's see what happens. Does it go back to clear after we stop stirring it? Hey, girl. Oh, I think it's getting clearer. It is. Yep, it's definitely getting clearer. So it says that you could actually repeat this for about an hour, those chemicals will work for at least one hour. Um, so, after the solution sits still for a few minutes, you should see it go back to clear. What is really cool is that you can keep repeating this process for about an hour. Try turning the mixing machine on again to see it turn blue and then off to clear. So today we've done the blue bottle reaction. So just like the iodine cloth reaction, the blue bottle reaction explores kinetics with a chemical indicator. But this time you can take the solution back and forth through the color change many times just by turning your mixing machine off and on. So what's going on? The indicator in this reaction is the methylene blue and it changes color thanks to a special type of reaction called an oxidation reaction. That's where oxygen combines with something else. Don't remember adding any oxygen? You did when you turned on your mixing machine. The stirring action caused oxygen from the air to mix into the solution, just like stirring the dye caused it to mix into the water to the experiment you tried. But at the same time, there's another reaction happening that converts the methylene blue back, taking it from blue to colorless. You already saw this reaction when you pipetted the methylene blue into the beaker. Remember it was a dark blue when it went in, but after less than a minute, the blue vanished? This reaction is pretty slow though, so the blue color wins as long as there's oxygen available. But when you stop stirring, you stop mixing oxygen into the solution. The dissolved oxygen is quickly used up by the oxidation reaction and that lets the slower blue colorless reaction catch up. Blue to colorless reaction catch up. That's why you see the solution turn back to clear. So this is called an oxidation reaction reaction. 
oxidation reduction. So Forrest, do you want to wrap it up? Like and subscribe if you enjoyed us doing the last activity. Bye.